Konnichiwa! If you've seen my videos on this channel over the last year or so, you will know that I've been learning a little bit of Japanese. Nihongo hanashimasu. Sukoshi nihongo hanashimasu. And so naturally, you know, I'd like to share nine reasons to learn Japanese. Let's do this. Reason number ichi. Japanese is an Asian language that's not tonal. So if you're ready to move away from Romance, Germanic and Slavic languages, etc. and kind of head east, but you're put off by this big scary thing they call tones, well, first of all, don't worry about tones. But secondly, if you are worried about tones, Japanese is a good one to go for. Japanese does have something called pitch accent, which is worth mentioning, but I've never had any problems with this, so I'm sure you'll be fine too. Reason number me. Japanese has three alphabets. Three alphabets, anyone? How insane does that sound? Insanely cool. You've got kanji, which originate from Chinese characters. You need about 2,000 of these to read most general stuff. You've got hiragana, which are pretty and curly, and are used to write grammatical bits, and also to write kanji when you're still learning them. And finally, you've got katakana, which is used for impact and for foreign words. As overwhelming as this may seem if you're watching this video and you're new to Japanese, don't worry, it becomes so normal so soon. And it's so rewarding when you understand stuff. Whoop, 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 whoop. Reason number, san. Speaking of kanji, it may come as a surprise, because I was surprised too, how useful basic knowledge of Chinese is when you're learning Japanese. Japanese kanji come from Chinese, and they may be pronounced differently, but the meanings tend to be the same. And if you don't know any Chinese right now, then learning Japanese will make Chinese easier in the future in that sense. How cool is that? Reason number, shi. You are never going to run short of interesting pop culture when it comes to Japanese. Have you heard of AKB48? It's an insane girl band with over a hundred members in its lifespan and they perform pretty much every night live in Tokyo by rotating their members. <sighs> if that's not spiked your interest, have you heard of Hatsune Miku? Hatsune Miku is a vocaloid artist, which means that she sounds like tech noises. And when she performs live, she slash it is a hologram. What? If music isn't your thing, what about film or TV? There's the obvious ones, Pokemon and Studio Ghibli. Ponyo loves Sasuke! And then there's the reading, manga for one. Hey, if you're already in love with this stuff, I don't need to tell you how cool it is. Reason number, go. The seemingly endless supply of simple sentences. I'm going to teach you some Japanese right now. Watashi wa Lindsay desu. Watashi wa I, Lindsay, my name, Des, the copula. This for, for to be, it means I am, basically. I am Lindsay. Easy peasy. I don't even need to say the I. Get rid of that. Lindsay des. The des, the verb, at the end of the sentence. You want to make a question? Just add ka on the end. Lindsay des ka? Lindsay des ka? Ashley des ka? Are you Lindsay? Are you Lindsay? Are you Ashley? Easy, right? Replace Lindsay with pretty much any noun and you've got this huge range of sentences that you can use pretty much from day one. How cool is that? Reason number Roku. Japan is amazing. Reason number Nana. Gairaigo. In other words, loan words. You might have studied Spanish and gone with the add an O to the end of the English word if you don't know and you might be right. Or in French and you just say an English word with a French accent and hope for the best. Well, with Japanese, you can pretty much do that. There's been times when I've been surprised by just how many loan words there are in Japanese directly from English, and some are really fun too. My favorites include salaryman, salaryman, aka businessman, pasokon, personal computer, aka laptop. Reason number, hachi, particles. Particles may be confusing at first, but they make for a much simpler process once you get to grips with them. Remember our sentence from earlier? Watashi wa Lindsay this? Well, wa is a particle, the subject particle to be precise, and you're going to use this after the subject in the sentence. Remember ka for that question? Lindsay this ka? Ka? Ka is another particle, a question particle. Add it to the end, you've got a question. Love this. I'm by no means saying all particles are easy, but they do make for an interesting look at something that's not always present in other languages. Here's to variety, right? Reason number, Q, the interwebs. Japanese is one of the most commonly used languages on the internet after English, Russian, and German. It's up there with about 5% of the net in Japanese. So there's going to be plenty of new real life material out there to help you practice. Hooray! Are you learning Japanese? Why? Let me know in the comments. 
And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Lindsay Does Languages here on YouTube and visit lindsaydoeslanguages.com for regular language updates. See you later. Bye. Arigato A few weeks, a few weeks ago, I wish. Japan, <laughs> that was really cheap line. <laughs>